Hi guys, welcome to Adam at College TV. I'm Adam, this is the weekend review and the weekend belongs, well, the whole season belongs to Leicester City. They are the Premier League champions and it was confirmed tonight as Spurs dropped a 2-0 lead at Stamford Bridge. 2-2 it finished in the end and Leicester City Premier League champions and it's now, what an achievement, what an achievement a lot of talk about is it the greatest achievement in football in english football and all that i don't know about that obviously nottingham forest had their great achievements under brian clough and they've been spoken about for years upon years but in the premier league era it has to be because nobody expected this leicester city they haven't spent a lot of money like blackburn rovers did when they did it they've done it on a shoestring budget claudio ranieri has been written off ever since he joined um, Leicester City by a lot of people and throughout the season everybody has expected Leicester City to fall off but they just haven't especially in a crazy season like it has been at um, in England in the Premier League um, everyone beating each other Leicester City have shown incredible consistency they deserve to be champions and it has to be the greatest ever Premier League achievement um, whether it is in English football let us know in the comments below what do you think? Everybody will talk about their fantastic players, and they have been fantastic. Hoof, Morgan, Schmeichel, Vardy, Mares, everybody, they've been great. Kante, drink water as well. But I want to give a big shout out to Claudio Ranieri because, as I said, he's been written off throughout the time he'd been at Leicester City when he joined. Um, and he's done great. He speaks fantastically well in press conferences. You always want to hear what he has to say. He shows great respect to, to other opponents, to other managers. Um, he handles himself incredibly well. Um, and he deserves it because... <laughs> he's, I'm like, I, can't, I still can't believe it. Seeing it coming through on television, Leicester City are champions. I mean, we've known it for a while now. They're going to be champions. It, it's just a matter of time. But... Even now, I just can't quite believe it that Leicester City are champions. Fair play to Tottenham as well. Random all the way. And I think they've got a great foundation to build on. Pochettino's obviously staying there. He's signing a new contract. They've got some fantastic young players. Great nucleus of youth. New stadium coming. And they, I'm sure, will build on this and be a threat to whoever are battling for the title next season. It's going to be a big battle. Obviously, Man City, Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp gets a summer at uh, Liverpool to bring in his own players. Manchester United, will we have Jose Mourinho, will not. Tottenham, Leicester, Arsenal, what's going on with them? Will they, you know, improve? Will they sack Wenger? Will they get a better manager? What's happening with them? It could be 6-7, Everton, t Everton as well. Um, they're getting money, they've got new owners, so there could be seven, eight teams battling for a top four places. Nobody is guaranteed Champions League football anymore. And that's why it's vital that Manchester United make the right decisions this summer. There's some big decisions to make at the club and we have to make them ASAP. Moving on from that and talking about Manchester United, our top four hopes took a huge hit this weekend at Old Trafford against Leicester City. Obviously, Premier League champions but it's a game that we should have won and days like that of Old Tra at Old Trafford is why we won't finish in the top four and we don't deserve to. We've dropped too many points at times when we should have been winning games. Think of Norwich, West Ham, Man City, Leicester, Southampton. <sighs> so many times we've dropped points where we shouldn't have been dropping them points and it's cost us a top four spot. I know it's still mathematically possible after Sadio Mane's fantastic hat-trick against Manchester City for Southampton but I don't think it's happening. We've got to go to Norwich. They're battling for survival. We've got to go to West Ham, the last game to be played at their home ground. And then, of course, we've got Bournemouth on the final day of the season at Old Trafford, where at Old Trafford, anything can happen, depending on what Manchester United side turns up. So it's looking like fifth place, sixth place, and an FA Cup final. Will we win that? I hope so. We're favourites to do so. But has that been success? Not for this Manchester United team and we had hopes for much higher. I'm not saying we should have won the league but we should have been battling for it and we haven't been. So big decisions to be made in the summer. Now on to the relegation battle where obviously Norwich lost against Arsenal. They played well but they didn't get anything out of the game. Newcastle won. Sunderland now sit in the bottom three but with their game in hand could move above Newcastle. It's going to be a tight battle. It's looking like Norwich maybe they've gone now. But 
who will get relegated between Newcastle and Sunderland. And I think Jermaine Defoe holds the key to that. He's a great goal scorer. He's done fantastically well. Scores bags of goals in the Premier League. And I think he could be the big difference. Obviously, Rafael Benitez changing things at Newcastle. But could it be too little, too late from him? I don't know. You know what I think, though? I want Newcastle to go down. I've told you all that already on the weekend review before. And I think that may happen. But it's looking like it's going to be very, very tight and could go to the last weekend. It's been a fantastic season. As I said, no one's really shown any consistency. When you look at it, the big teams, Manchester City, underperformed. Chelsea, underperformed. Manchester United, underperformed. Arsenal, have they underperformed? They're finishing in their usual kind of position, third or fourth. Um, I think that's what you kind of expect from them. So I wouldn't say they've underperformed, but with the emergence of Tottenham and Leicester and obviously having the likes of Man United, Man City, Liverpool under Klopp, Chelsea under Antonio Conte, it's going to be a big season next year and nobody is guaranteed Champions League football. Anyway, guys, that's me done for the weekend review today. Let us know what you think in the comments below about everything I've spoken about. Leicester City, is it the greatest achievement in English football? Manchester United, are we done in terms of the top four? Who's going down with Aston Villa? Comment below. Make sure you subscribe to Adam Matt Collar TV. I'll see you later.